All right, you guys, today we are headed to the Kino Gem Show, and you can tell from my voice that I've been talking way too much. <laughs> so if my voice cracks a little bit or is a little bit tired, that's why, but I'm super excited to go to Kino. I didn't go to Kino last year, so I'm really, really excited to check out that show. So let's go. All right, we are in one of the tents at Kino, and this booth is really nice, Hoffman Minerals. They have some itty bitty grape agates as well as some bigger ones. They have lots of stone that looks like rainbow amethyst over there. That's super tiny and cute. So these are actually amethysts from Turkey. Look at that. They're absolutely gorgeous. The color is insane. So these are sold by flat only. Some big flats and then some with smaller pieces, but really great deal for these. Oh, and they have little rhodonite clouds. These are actually really cute. They have some tourmaline, big and small. Oh, these are the Sunset Phantom forts, but they're itty bitty. These are from India. These are ultraviolet garnet. They have some Laramar flats as well. They have little teeny tiny ones and big ones, and then some fibrous malachite over here. So these are all wholesale lots only, so you can't pick per piece but really good prices. Oh, I've never seen this before. These are a flat of opals. And it's a pretty good deal and you get a lot. Look at these, those are bigger ones. I think it runs you $680 for the flat. And then you can get bags as well for a thousand. These are really cool. These are Megalodon tea and you can get them in a flat. I kind of maybe want to get some, maybe some of the smaller ones. They're different prices by weight, but these are so freaking cool. Okay, I might be back for these. That's super unique. I've never seen that before. Got some Moroccan material here. So one thing to note about Kino, it's kind of like a giant garage sale from what I'm seeing so far. Good prices. But you guys, it is absolutely freezing in here. Like people are in winter jackets. My hands are so cold. So if you come here, bundle up. It's like 20 degrees colder than it is outside. So if it's 50 degrees outside, it's only 30 degrees in here. So very, very, very cold. So just one thing to note, if you don't tolerate cold, you probably won't like this specific tent at Kino or any of the tents at Kino. Ooh, I've been looking for these, but super cool. These are all pre-priced flat. Literally, it's like pick which one you like. The table goes all the way down. So these are a mix of Moroccan and other materials. And then they have another entire table over there. So you guys, it is like almost 10 and there's still vendors who are not set up. So you can come here early, but there'll be a lot of people who are still setting up or still unboxing things. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. A lot of the shows have been like that. Even if you show up at nine, a lot of places aren't even open. Usually I'd say people are like, fully up and running by like 10, 10.30. But there's some vendors who are here bright and early, but not typically. Okay guys, we are in another wholesale tent. I believe this entire tent is one vendor. I got a lots of amethyst swings. I think some of these have sold and portals. But yeah, this whole thing is a wholesale lot. So let's see if we find anything good. Starting in the back, we have some rainbow cut base. These are actually really nice. I've never had rainbow amethyst before, but they got a ton of options. The price on it is the retail price. They've got tons of pink amethyst on stands. Ooh, that one's kind of nice. They do have these, which are actually really kind of cool. They're a little expensive but I've never seen anything like it before. They're just super unique. Here are these amethyst and selenite. These are glued together, so they're not natural, but they are pretty cool. I'd be worried about these breaking, but they're unique. I personally don't like them because they're, I think they're a little odd looking because they're not natural. Some huge sparkly tourmaline pieces out here. And this tent is Village Originals. If anyone is curious at the Kino show. A lot of generic stuff. 
nothing super, super, super special besides maybe those towers. It's a little bit more Chinese-based material or kind of more generic pieces for Village Originals. Oh, a lot of you guys asked me about how to ship. Here is the UPS store. It's a little shipping container store and they ship all your stuff for you. Got bubble wrap boxes, just ships directly from here. Each show has their own UPS shipping center. So whether it's a Red Lion, Pueblo, each one has its own shipping center. So don't be worried if you bought too much. I think a pallet is starting at around 500 if you do an entire pallet. Otherwise, I think like for one or two boxes, I want to say it's like, depending on the weight, it could be 50 to 300, just in case you guys worry about shipping stuff. They have that option for you. Just look ahead. We got a lot of ground to cover. There's a lot of tents here. And I'm really excited to see what's in all these tents since I didn't make it out here last year. And there's tents going down the alleyway as well. This is not petrified wood, but it's coated in quartz. And there's a big spinning one right there. Here is another super large wholesale only tent. So there are a lot of wholesale only tents at Kano. So if you're not a business, I think you definitely can still go in there, but they need a tax ID for you to purchase. So that's one thing to keep in mind for Kano if you're just a collector, but there are plenty of shops here that let you buy piece by piece that do wholesale and resale. But most of these large tents are wholesale only. So just keep that in mind for Kino. Okay, so I finally figured out what this material is that we saw yesterday. It's geotite, so they have a lot of boxes of it. It's super unique. It kind of looks like, like poisonous toxic wood or something, which I know it's not, but that's just the vibe. <laughs> I can't. It's really interesting. The material is also really interesting. It's called Oro Calcite. That piece is really pretty, but another material I also haven't really seen a lot at the shows. That one is super cool. There's also some Vera Cruz here. This shop actually has really, really nice specimens. A lot of more uncommon materials or more harder to find materials. Vera Cruz comes from Mexico. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Zion Prospector from Utah. I did not know they're at the freaking Tucson show. I've recommended them many times for Tiffany stones. We'll go check them out, but we're gonna go to the Peruvian minerals first and see, cause I, I love myself some good Peruvian material. Also, look at these giant selenites. <laughs> so that shop name, it's a little hard to see, but I will try to circle back. They had some of those really cool specimens, but let's go to Peru Minerals, my face. Wow, they have Bolivianite, which I haven't seen in a really long time. So that's actually really cool that they have Bolivianite here. These are some very beautiful color, lots of purple in the green. Super cool. These are cute. They're Bolivianite pyramids. That one is really pretty. That would be kind of unique. Pyramids never sell for me though, you guys. So I don't stock them anymore. But I love, I personally love pyramids, but for some reason people do not like to buy them from me, which is totally fine. But they're such a cool shape and they have so many good uses for your house. Beautiful birds. I love that one in the little bag. They say do not touch, so I will definitely not be touching. They're beautiful. Got a whole two tables full of these beautiful birds. They also have some mini birds here that you can just pull out and look at. I love the Peruvian birds. I may try to get some more hummingbirds. You guys sold me out of those, but they're so delicate to ship. It makes me nervous <laughs> to ship the, these little hummingbirds. Only no cards. Well, they might do checks, but just know a lot of places at Kino seem to be cash, no credit cards. So just keep that in mind when coming to Kino. So here is the Tiffany stone from Utah. They do have some tumbles. Oh, look at those. Look at the big bear. Beautiful. I love Tiffany stone, you guys. It's a pretty penny. Even these tumbles, 180 each, so. <laughs> Pretty pricey. They also have really nice honeycomb calcite. They have the little buffaloes, which are so cute. They also have big jumbo slabs of honeycomb calcite. Gorgeous. You may pick up some carvings. 
And these are super cool. These are Utah Rainbow Rhyolite. Oh my gosh, they have the buffalo and rhyolite. This is a super unique material that you do not typically see. And they have more over here. Absolutely gorgeous. And they also have Septarian. The Septarian from them is just such nice quality. They just have a whole nother level of beauty. And there's one with a Betrayal Formation. Some with Druzy. And if you guys are curious about food, there's tons of food vendors here at Kino. It smells amazing over here. I'm like, ooh, early lunch. Lots and lots of food vendors. Some shows only have like one food vendor. So Kino has a lot. It's very state fair vibe instead of getting I love it. This is a really fun booth. I think the owner's name is McCall and she has actually a YouTube channel. I just saw a video of hers last night talking about her booth, but she has some really amazing and stunning material out here. She's got a big showcase, a huge tent. So we're gonna go check that out. But just looking at the beautiful pieces she has out here, look at that one. Okay, you guys, this is what the inside of the tent looks like. It's the tallest tent, you can't miss it. Look at this gorgeous amethyst piece. It's like a clam, and there's a beautiful quartz moon swing here. That'd be so cool to have in your yard. Then you have this walkway of amethyst portals. And then there's amazing pieces inside, so let's go inside and Take a peek and there's some more material over here. So don't forget to come back and look outside. These are really cool. These are black chalcedony or black chalcedony with peach stilbite. Really pretty. There's a ton of zeolites here. Giant Himalayan. They actually have some tinier pieces. That one's gorgeous. I'm totally <laughs> blocking it. They have some really massive, massive pieces. Someone's for 900. All right, you guys, Mama Crystal is done. I'm beat, my feet, my hips, my back, my head does not feel good. I need food, I need sun, because it's freaking freezing at the Kino show. Also, I'm just saying this right now, I cannot recommend Village Originals at the Kino show. It was a hour and a half line to check out. Doesn't matter if you're buying a hundred things or one thing, it was horrible. <laughs> so I would avoid at all costs. There are other vendors who have the same material. I almost left so many times, but I got these really cool pieces. Yeah, regret. I'm cooked. I'm done. I think it's like two o'clock. So I'm going to go back to the hotel and relax. I might do a story sale tonight. I'm not sure. We'll see if I'm up for it. But anyways, I may close out Tucson day four. Here, I know this one was a shorter one, but thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you, bye. All right, you guys, we are back at the Motel 6 and we're just gonna walk around. This is technically Tucson day five, but I'm gonna in the Tucson day four video just to give you guys some extra content. We're gonna walk around for about an hour here and then we're gonna go ahead and head to the airport. So I'm excited to show you anything I find while I'm here. And yeah, let's take you around the Motel 6 for a more in-depth video. These skulls are super, super cool. This is all onyx and they had some really nice tumbles, the strawberry or rose calcite tumbles. They see these are citrine calcite, which obviously it's not the train, a really pretty yellow color. Yeah, I would think they would call these lemon because they're calling this lemon. And this actually looks like lemon, but this is, this is pineapple. They're all like fruit and dessert names. I wanted to show you guys <laughs> these huge oblasts. <laughs> they're like, these are probably the biggest towers of blasts I've seen here at the show. And they have other ones that are really big. These are all sodalite. These are outside of this booth right here from Brazil. are really unique. They're Clevelandite, Lepidolite, and Albite. I've never seen anything like that. 
there's a little lapidolite on there, but super cool. This is at a Brazilian booth. Really cool specimens. This piece is super cool. It has mica lapidolite growing out of it. It looks like it's a smoky, super cool piece. All right, you ran into a subscriber. And what's your business? I'm here from Manila, so I'm from the Philippines. I'm at Busan, Virgin. Oh, wow. So, but you inspired me to come here. Yeah. And I'm from Manila, so I love the Philippines. Yeah. So I came here to visit you guys. Yeah. And I love the food here. And I love the people 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 here. And I love the Gorgeous. I just picked up some pieces too. <laughs> Yay, well, thank you. So nice thank to meet you. you. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys these super cool Vivianite. They're huge. These are from Brazil. This whole booth is all Brazilian material. I love Vivianites. These are one thing I haven't carried in my shop yet, but maybe someday. I know they're a little pricey. These are really beautiful. Look at these. These are big citrine. This is an absolutely gorgeous piece with low to light. These are all baby celestials, and then this is massive garden quartz is <laughs> insane. It's a double point. I believe it has been polished. The points. So we're back here, the sun lighting is absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to show you these garden quartz pieces. Beautiful, beautiful. They're smoky with garden, like look at that. And then they have all of these wand natural. That one has green garden. The sun is in like the perfect spot. And it's not that busy today. The other day when I was here, it was very, very, very busy. Cool in the background. <laughs> we got some clusters over here. Everything could be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is a city I met all my best friends, and I want to thank every break. I want to thank every entrance to every building. Look at that. It's a thousand layer. These spheres are incredible. I'm in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park. I saw my first rap show. If you guys want to shop this booth, they're LFB Crystals from Brazil. I'm here at the Motel 6. We want keep drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt. And me and Jack will get stony, walk around and get lost. Don't think I'll I wanted to show you guys these. They're insanely high quality, like super, super high quality garden motor lights. They're polished, but the clarity. I wanted to show you guys these all have big chunky retail in them. I never really had a place to call my own. This one's amazing. I find that, but I'm full of adventure, so I wander and I venture, and it's safe to say that really I don't mind that. I book a flight to try to figure with I didn't take a video of these the other day. These are the mango. Mingle with the people till I learn a little. I brought some weed and baby, maybe we could burn a little. She said you're funny. I said no, I'm David and I left. Sun shining, birds chirping. Let me take a breath. All right, you guys. I mean, my very last purchase. There's some gem lapidolite in there that you're gonna go crazy over. And I wanted to show you this <laughs> huge piece before we head to the airport. Next, I like the giant amethyst. Look at that. That has a rainbow. City is moving me like a passion. I think these might be citrines growing in it. That, that's insane. That's a wrap on Tucson day five. Saying goodbye to all of the amazing vendors. And we are gonna head to the airport now. See you in Denver. Hey, do you have a crystal business or are looking to start a crystal business? I have the perfect community for you. I have a crystal business Patreon and you can access it in the link in my description box. We talk about all things crystal business, shipping, pricing, suppliers, sourcing, and so many more things. 
For just $18 a month, you can join me and my community to help you through the crystal business process. I look forward to meeting you.